tastes so good. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie for those of you who are new. So in today's video, you are going to pretty much see a day in the life of a pharmacy student. It is Friday and I'm filming this today. Sorry guys, it's just the week goes by so much and so much is expected out of this rotation. So I am trying my best right now. I'm currently in my parents' house um, because it's nice and quiet and peaceful and warm in here right now. I am packing away my new home uh, with Marcus. So I got really stressed out when there's a lot going on. So I like to just go in a nice quiet space, which I would have been in the library, but I don't know if the library is open. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have been to a library or where do you study now with covid or do you just stay home or do you go to school or like what's going on in your lives i don't know if you guys seen the community tab that community tab i just want to engage more with you guys i want to see what you guys want front to see from me and i want to see what you guys are feeling what you like and what you're vibing with and i asked you guys what vlogs you guys want to see and a lot of you guys said you want to continue seeing a day in the life of a pharmacy student which i will continue because i'm almost close to graduating so i'm so excited and you know i can go into that again but you know how i feel about that and i'm just so happy you guys are following along but i also had other people that had said they wanted to keep seeing my daily vlogs like just my life and stuff and updates so i'll still continue to do that um but for now in this um vlog i'm going to show you a day in the life of a pharmacy student in ambulatory care so ambulatory care um this rotation is a pharmacist in an ambulatory care setting so it's more of outpatient setting it's not inpatient and you see these people day to day not in critical condition this ambulatory care is more focused on diabetes which i love diabetes so i wish i can show you more of like exactly like how i used to zoom in on everything that i was actually looking at but i really can't for school i could because it was just notes but for this i can't because hipaa and these are real life patient and I'm working on real life patient soap notes. Subjective, objective, information, assessment, and plan. So essentially, we are meeting with these patients every single week and I listen to what they're saying, which would be subjective, everything that they're saying and how the meetings, how the visit is going. After that, we input all the objective information like past medical history and um, family history, social history, do they drink, do they smoke, um, any medication allergies, the medications they're taking, and then their labs results, and then assessment and plan is we're assessing what they came here for. So I'm looking at previous notes on the clinic website, progress notes, and I'm going through their assessment and seeing what happened the past few times, even going back several, like a year or two, just to get background on this patient. And we meet with different patients every week. So every week I'm looking at different situations and then I'm recommending what we're going to do the plan. Like, are we gonna increase their insulin? Are we gonna decrease? Are we gonna continue them on the medication? Are we going to take them off? So while I'm doing that, we meet up every week um, while I go through these soap notes and we present them, which are progress, patient progress notes, and we present them to our preceptor, which is a pharmacist in charge. And we'll read everything just like to our other um, classmates, just brand new, like as if they don't know the patient. And she'll make sure that what we're, we recommend or what we assess and plan is indeed correct. And from there, we meet with the patient live through Zoom though, because this la um, rotation is virtual. This rotation honestly is very challenging and pretty much makes you think on the spot and it makes you critically think. Like, wanna make sure you're looking at all the labs when you're coming up with an assessment. You don't wanna just recommend decrease insulin or increase this you will need to have a reason you need to know their background you need to make sure you know their past medical history where where is this coming from and you need to do your research and so it's a lot of work the first week i'm not gonna lie i was on the computer literally every single day all day just figuring out my patients. she gave us a week to figure our patients out we had two patients and we had two patients every single week and um I had three patients at one point, but then my other patient had canceled, so then went down to two patients. But yeah, I'm learning a lot, and it's worth it. Um, you want to be on rotations that you learn a lot. All right, so I am right now on a call, and this is my friend Ali that is presenting. Well, it's a recorded um, PowerPoint presentation, and she's doing so good. 